Guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Aiken Family Golf Range. Today is all about me getting better, you guys getting better, and a very special guest. G3, aka Diddy, is here to fix my golf swing and do whatever he's doing, weird warm ups. So now we watch sports, as you guys saw in Wesley's workout video. But yeah, G3's here to help with V1. We got the V1 golf app ready to go. To hopefully kind of find what I'm doing wrong. He's gonna draw some lines. He's gonna keep working out in the background, because uh, that's what he does. Um, and we're just gonna get after it. Seven iron, pitching wedge, and driver. Those are the three things we're working on. And I can't concentrate. Dad, golly, this is what I've had to deal with my whole life. So let's warm up and then let's get into this lesson. All right, so we're gonna get into this lesson. We're gonna start off. How are we gonna start this thing off, uh, Pops? Just hit and then uh, film and then talk about it. Figure it out. Easy, love it. All right, also before, why, why the pitch wedge seven iron and driver? What, why not just like one or the other? For you, uh, your posture and your turn are connected. And so if you stay in your posture, your turn, your turn is absolutely extraordinary, especially waist down. And so if you keep good posture with all, then you'll turn better. So that's why. Cool. And here's what we're gonna do. The target for pitch and wedge, yellow flag. Target for the seven iron is white flag, and the driver, the fairway is gonna be between that that shed and that little shed right there. So. Where you've always struggled is establishing good posture for each. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the first thing, alignment. Your alignment looked pretty good. Your posture, uh, from with a wedge to me it looks a little bit a little crimped compared to what I'm used to seeing this is just something as a grown-up your body doesn't turn as good mm -hmm. and you try to compensate with moving the arms okay so your arms are are going up just a little bit a little bit a little bit up a little bit out of sequence maybe a little bit of a little bit too fast as I saw that one and then okay. that's the backswing then that'll typically cause you to jump a little bit in front on the downswing. That's all that happened. You pushed it out right. Just as, just as, I mean, it's just a little bit. Though. Yeah. A little bit of posture. So that's really it. I mean, so that's all. Just a little bit of posture, I think. Okay, let's go work on some posture then. So what I, what I think is pushing the hips, just push back a little bit and the chin up a little bit. Now you still keep that knee flex. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like this? Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. Does it look good? That looks better. So, that, much better. so much better ball flight too. <laughs> hey, you, gotta, did, you gotta change. Technically, it probably it, went to about a foot, so result is great, but yeah. You got a difference. Now, what I would say is if you can soften the hands a little bit and soften the arms, and then let, the, let your right hip, just let the arms follow the, the right hip drawing that right hip back, G. So this better, like this? This good? Perfect. Now that's what I think right there. Bam. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, I start like a two yard draw. That, I mean, that's what we're looking for. All right, now here we go. Here's a little before and after. We're gonna throw the V1 overlay and kind of let you see the differences, Dad. We worked on the posture in the first one and the second one, we got it all cleaned up. So let's, uh, let's see him. Hey, well, all cleaned up doesn't mean you can easily see uh, the differences. Yeah. But if I were to, if you were to look at, I drew some lines. I'm not sure I can draw the same way twice, but trying, just so you can see little things with posture. I love the V1 on the sequence part because it's easy to see the. Uh, oops, I went slow mo. G3 era. And it's easy to see how the turn, how the turn matches up when we get them almost at the same speed and see how those, like typically, if you're in poor posture, your arms don't start, your arms don't start with, they, they go out in front of the hips, Does that makes sense? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you can tell a big difference. Turn is deeper on the one on the right for sure. Yeah, so that when you when you're not as deep in your turn is when you get into trouble, mm -hmm. and now you get up a little steep and you're a little bit out of sequence. Your lower body mm -hmm. moves out in front, and your 
body's in front of your arms and the old that's when george is stuck g4 yep. stuck so you can see a little different there and then uh everything from the top of the back swing that's when you're set ready to go the springs in place now we'll see this is this this is the uh truth here i love this line right here it tells it all you can see speaking of seeing i sure wish i could see like i once could <laughs> But hands to the ball, it doesn't matter what sport, if it's a ball and a and ball and a club. Let's see how good you a ball and an implement. The left one's not bad. It's, it's, That's pretty good. It's, That's pretty good. Hey, so I feel like the right one's definitely gonna be a smidge better. Yeah, as you can see it stays on that line a little bit. A little, a little bit, bit better. And sure. so when you do your little whoop to do coming down through, typically uh I know there's going to be some compensation. Now you're good with your face. Mm -hmm. That's when, uh, anyway. So nice. Okay. Love it. Break it down for me here. What did you see? So the, you're just a little off with the bends at the knees, mm -hmm. the waist, and even at the shoulders, your chin will go down a little bit. Okay. So I think if you went knees first, you straighten the knees slightly, just a little bit, and then you push the hips back mm -hmm. as you push the hips back you would take where your posture is from here and hopefully it gets a little bit just a little bit more in the air okay. where that chin is up there All and right. that allows as you drive backwards in the hip that'll allow easier turn with better posture your posture frees up all right let's go work on it all right seven hour time do we uh the same same kind of things that's what i think so uh get me all set up and your so what uh, the white flag um yeah white flag spot on this that's it looks looks correct to me oh, too much of a draw i'd like to end it um between the white flag and that white post a little too much hook a little but, flippy but no but why was it why was it flippy um probably didn't not turn as much yeah so, so in my opinion that i mean that's perfect all you do is time turn those hips a little deeper slow the arms down let it match up better and it'll be slightly slightly more shallow then you don't have the desire to flip it all right chin up a little more back so if you can hit, so why, why ever leave that idea? I mean, I don't know, I mean, are we, I mean, we might be cured. <laughs> so I think just taking your time, letting that set up slow, don't jump into it, you don't have to. All right. Kind of like that? Uh, kind of like that. The wind is pushing it here to the right, but I feel like that was a pretty straight ball flight. So when your posture's good, now you're able to use that, uh, use the feet, knees, and hips. And when it's like it is, if your arms are soft and you're supple to start with, you can just turn into the backswing patiently. Whereas when you're in poor posture or posture's off, you have to kind of jump it a little bit instead of just ease into that backswing uh, mm -hmm. posture. So you, the sequence is way better right there again. So yeah. I'm going. That sequence tell. right here, the hands, the arms, the shoulders, the hips, the knees, everything is good there. And now here's the big, it's so what, if you get to here, mm -hmm. at that point, your sequence is good, really good. And your shaft is on, on pretty good plane there. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. Most importantly, as you continue to turn through, you continue to turn the hips, leading the shoulders, and now your face, I don't know how you get it any better than that, but that's what we talk about with timing or sequencing, getting things to match up. And yours is great there. Yeah. Also, good point, Dad, here. Uh, from the face on angle, you guys didn't see it, but what, uh, kind of talk about what you just said? Yeah, so when your posture goes off, for whatever reason, you square this right foot up, mm -hmm. and then it really makes this hip turn going backwards tougher so I just 
suggested with the improved posture, just make sure that right foot is flared a little bit, just maybe not that much, but yeah. a little off square so it accommodates this backswing turn. It allows a little more depth in that turn mm -hmm. too. Okay. There you go. Bam. So yeah. what happens yeah. is you let the full you let the full turn take place mm -hmm. and your money, everything comes back down together. Yes. All right, so one of the reasons I like the V1 Golf app is because guys like him can pester me with swing videos and analysis. Uh, anyway, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. All, all you're gonna do, you're gonna get home on Wi-Fi and send all this, like they're all saved in the inbox, right? Or outbox, and then you just push send and then I'll be able to have everything, you know, where I can reference moving forward. Is that correct? That's it. And then the other way is just go ahead and send a straight, just video off the phone. Mm -hmm. Send a straight video to to my phone number and then I convert it using the V1 app. And then That's you'll send another me, way. Then you'll send me a lesson back. And I, oh, right. Nice. And speaking of that, download the V1 Golf app, search Brian Bros Instructors, you'll find me there. So send your, send your swing and me and my dad are gonna analyze a few of you guys' golf swings for free um, to try to help you help y'all get better. So download the V1 Golf app, send me your swing, me and G3 are gonna go over and dissect and encourage, maybe discourage, who knows. We yeah, download the app and uh, we'll try to get your swings. I think it's gonna be fun. We're gonna try to do, be doing more of this more often, but now it's time for the driver. Dad, let's go. The fairway is, like I said, the shed and the little box. That's kind of fair way. I'm gonna try to start this fade just on the right side of the shed to hit a, I'm gonna hit it right, so. Keep the same idea. Try to keep the hands and arm. If the hands and arms aren't soft, then I'd say don't don't take it back yet. So this is good, good alignment? Good it posture. looks good. There we go, I love it. Now, so. Kind of, almost, like a, almost like a push draw. Or well, a straight. almost like a push draw, really? <laughs> I'm trying to fade, so. Wait a second, wait a second. We didn't talk about that part. I'm trying to fade, so I hit the fairway, but it was a draw. What What do we do with that? <laughs> hey, what I, first thing is, when you go deeper on the way back, you're gonna drop it more from the inside, so I like that to start with. Your biggest asset, again, is your, your, your hips, G4. You were like a kangaroo springing around the basketball court, mm -hmm. and you transferred, it was, it was, I saw it in golf first, though. So to get your hip turn, your glutes involved, do it again. Now, I love that. You're a little bit off. I mean, those are... A little bit, it's not falling right. It's a little bit off, a little much from the inside, but that's the starting point. And by the way, that's... There we go. That's it. All right, so the fairway. Okay. All right, so yeah, why, why for me hitting draws, why is it important to not just do the fades? So one of the things that you always have had a tendency to do is when you hit it good, you just get more, you get steeper, steeper, steeper. Mm -hmm. Instead of staying on that same plane to hit a draw and a fade, basically the same okay. plane. So get the draws allow you to shallow it out and remind you of where mm. the plane is. So Got it's it. a little bit like a seesaw yeah. balance. Got it. All right, one last drive to hit a fade in this fairway. That's all we get. Let's go. I mean, <laughs> yes. Is that any good? Fairway. <laughs> That's hammer. That's hammer time. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Thanks, Dad, for coming down, give me a lesson, get me all straightened out. But because honestly, I needed that, and we're about to go play a match. So. Thank you for basically sealing your own fate. <laughs> um, anyway, no, thank you guys for watching, tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Download the V1 Golf app. Golf app. Let's get better together. Send your swings in. Me and Dad are going to take a look at them, critique them, help you guys out along the way. So, we'll see you guys next time and stay tuned. See y'all.